heading out to go check traps. It is uh, six below right now, so I don't know that I got a whole lot of faith in our otter set still working, but you never know, they might have come through yesterday before the wind came and got the cold air in, so I don't know. It was about 25 yesterday and then it started getting windy and it pushed all this cold air in and now it's yeah six below so fingers crossed nothing in any wolf sets so far um, pretty much all of our water sets have been froze in so on my way back through I might bust some of them out and see if I can keep them working a couple days or I might just uh, start pulling some of these water sets until the temperatures come back up I'm not sure yet but getting up to our dam crossing here so get back with you in a minute sorry about that my camera was on the wrong setting so that 330 was right there I got it right there because it's it was fired I'm thinking because of the chunks of ice moving down the water here but uh got it pulled out and I might move it but I don't know that I'm gonna find anywhere deep enough to really set it so Probably just pull it out of here with me. I think I was going to mention real quick, I do really like these trapping gloves, these atlases. But um, when you're in temperatures below all oh, the middle teens somewhere, they kind of leave something to be desired. As you can see, this thing is just stiff as a board. I stuck it in the water one time and it's frozen like that. Same with the other one. So, you know, they do kind of leave something to be desired in terms of that because they freeze that quick and easy when you pull them out of the water. They're really not keeping your hands super warm while you're in the water either, but uh, they do keep you dry. Another thing too I was going to mention for guys who don't, uh, don't do much wolf trapping, I don't ever walk along their trail. So they're coming in this way. That's that MB750 I just showed you, you know, right there. Um, I don't ever walk along their trail. So I came on and off of here, right here. This just drops down to the river. There's a nice steep bank right here that they're not going up and down. So that's where I crawled up and that's where I'm jumping off. And uh, I'm just kind of brushing my tracks as I go. That way to a wolf's perspective, I mean, obviously I'm never gonna be able to completely lie to them and tell them I wasn't here because they're just too smart for that. Their nose is no, but uh, at least if I can make it look less suspicious and uh, make it look like I didn't mess with anything over here and like I didn't spend much time here, they really don't have much to worry about from me because, uh, I mean, they've been coming through here the last couple of weeks while I've been out here trapping otter and they haven't been, they haven't been bothering their routine because of me being in here, so, um... Hopefully that just means that these guys haven't been trapped yet this year, and uh, hopefully they're not as smart as I think they are, and we'll get a couple of them. But I just wanted to mention that real quick. Their trail goes right here and around, so instead of walking up and down their trail and covering their tracks with my tracks and broadcasting my scent all over where they're going to be at, I tried to keep myself down here as much as possible and just go up right there, walk over two or three feet, do my thing, come back down. Um, I didn't set any of my gear up there that I didn't have to. Um, you know, some wolves care, some wolves don't, but that extra couple percent makes a difference. So, anywho, get out of here. It's friggin' cold. Just finished getting an MB750 buried right up here at the end of this log. I'm trying to stay off of there as much as I can. Obviously, I was up there making the set, but uh, you'd have to be blind, deaf, and dumb not to notice that there's wolves coming through here real heavy. Um, I don't know if it's going to show up or not, but all of these tracks all out through here, this, these are all wolf tracks. All of this all throughout here. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say there's at least 10 or 12 of them coming through here because I've never seen just a couple of wolves run all over the place like this because it is heavy. Hey, look at this. This is all wolf tracks. All of that. So, 
I got an MB750 buried right there because it looks like they come either next to that tree or between those two trees right here along the shoreline and they hit this and then it looks like there's a couple of them that like to take the high side here and there's a whole bunch of them that like to take the middle here and then there's a couple of them that like to run the edge of the water. Um, kind of crazy how they do that because if you looked over there right there where they come across that little log that's got snow on it there's only two sets of tracks on there so if you were looking at that you'd think oh yeah two wolves came through here well as soon as they got to right here those two wolves turned into 14 15 I don't even know they're everywhere so anyhow I got an MB 750 right there got another one I put in over there another one right over there so now it's just a matter of waiting and hoping that they don't freeze down super hard. I got another set right over there. That one's a P-post. A um, little bright from right here. But you can see them wolves been coming through here too. Uh, and the mother sets are just right over there. At that bush right there it's kind of been chewed off by beavers and stuff but since the beavers have been under the ice now uh, the wolves have been coming through and pissing on it so I've got an MB 750 right there because that's where they've just been naturally going up on there and doing their thing so I just bedded a trap there and squirted some coyote piss and uh, called it a win anyhow Thinking it's about time for us to get out of here. It's just getting colder. It's kind of what happens when the sun starts to come up. It uh, warms up a couple of degrees right at first, and then it gets colder again as all the cold air drops down. So, anywho, get out of here and uh, go warm up. Another beautiful morning out in the woods. Made a few more wolf sets today. Um, I can't figure on putting any more down in here unless I put some snares in and I really don't I really don't want to um, not that I couldn't there's plenty of good pinch points down in here but this is also fairly low in elevation and uh, I don't want to end up snaring any deer or elk this year so not that I ever have before but you know snaring down below about 3,000 feet is uh, kind of risky and December, January, February, so I'd just as soon not, and uh, the state that my pickup is in with my diesel tank in the back and all my tools, and I got a big toolbox back there, and I just, I don't have the space to be moving my snow machine around, so uh, I'm not going to be getting above four or 5,000 feet this year. Anyhow, just making my way up out of here. We're done for the day, so. All of our water sets, otter sets, really. I mean, I'd call them water sets because it's entirely possible that a guy can get a beaver or a muskrat or a mink or whatever, but uh, they're otter sets. But they're all frozen hard and, oh, most of them weren't even working. Sorry, I'm not trying to grunt and groan at you here, but this pack basket of mine weighs a lot. There is nothing about uh, wolf trapping that allows a guy to pack light. Even if you're just going to bring a couple four or five traps into somewhere. I mean, just them four or five traps plus rigging is near 100 pounds by the time it's all said and done. So, yeah. <sighs> But I gotta climb this hill yet, and I'm really gonna be huffing and puffing doing that, so nobody wants to hear that shit. Just heading out of here. Something dug out one of my dirt hole sets last night. I didn't look at this one on my way down. Um, it's kind of weird I didn't fire the trap off. It's bedded in wax dirt there, so it's I know it's not froze down. That's just trees cracking because of the cold. Uh, the moisture inside of them will freeze and force them to crack. But uh, 
Yeah, as you can see, I mean, there was fresh snow on this, so that should not have dirt on top of it, but it does. So something was up in here digging last night and uh, somehow didn't fire that trap off. Because it's right in here. I mean, that's got a little bit of a crust to it, but I know it's all good wax dirt under there and I know that will fire. So whatever it was, was probably pretty small. Might have been a mink or a martin. I don't know, but anyhow. I'm actually getting out of here for real this time.